Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. Welcome to the calling of the Revelator Part 7. I suppose you are asking yourself, why is the Revelator presenting Part 7, yet, yet already reached Part 8? It was a deliberate chapter that was skipped so that I come back to represent the calling of the Revelator Part 7, which is the Lost Files. The Lost Files, we're going to be looking at the Lost Files, the new profile, the new profound records, the spiritual journey documentary, and mostly giving an account of the calling and we are going to be going through scriptures looking at how the the apostles of Jesus Christ also gave an account of their works it is giving an account of the works of God on the last hour, on judgment hour, and there is given an account of the works that have been done while he is here on earth, for giving credit to the Lord and not giving credit to the men. So, for us to understand more on this passage, on this part 7, which is the lost file, which is not only a lost file, but a recovered spiritual journey documentary, which allows me to give an account of the calling in a new profound analysis of specifying the spiritual records of this calling let's get into scriptures in john chapter 20 verse 31 and it reads and there are so many and there are also many other things which jesus did it's actually john chapter 21 verse 25 and there's also many other things which jesus did which if they should be written everyone i suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written amen the scripture that i've read here is the last scripture in passage chapter 21 which is written by John. And there is something profound about this scripture. And I'm going to read it again so that you understand. And it reads, And there are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they should be written, then the scripture says everyone. I suppose that even the world itself. The funny thing is that the scripture is saying everyone instead of saying every page because these are records that were recorded by john the revelator and this is a writing that was written by john the revelator and there are also many other writings that were written by other disciples besides John the Revelator, that were written by other disciples of Jesus Christ. But the key word on this scripture is that the scripture says, if they should be written, everyone, then it goes ahead to say, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Why is the scripture reflecting on everyone? And not every scripture 
yet he's talking about many books because he's talking about the people that have been encountered the people that were encountered the people that were delivered in this calling the people that were saved in this calling not only the documents or the writings that are missing no not only the documents or the analysis of the lost file that are missing no but even the people that were saved by jesus that are not written about in the holy bible this scripture is trying to specify that there are also not only many scriptures not only many writings that were lost but also many people that were not mentioned that jesus saved many delivered sessions many features of characteristics of men and women that are not written about that witnessed the works of jesus that are not written about in the holy book And I don't even know how many people that were saved under mysteries and revelations. And I'm talking about the calling of the revelator, but seven. I don't even know how many people that were saved. I remember at one time when this calling had not reached this stage that it has reached. I was praying for people in an open place and I used to pray for people that would pass by in a park an open place that is not even a place that was given to me to use but I just went and started doing the works of the Lord with the other brethren that were with me and other brethren that have left this ministry that is mobile and that is not fixed in one position. The things that John the Baptist writes about, talking about, I only ate locusts and wild honey, does not mean he did not eat any other kind of food. Those words mean that he only focused on the word of God and saving souls and bringing sinners to repentance. And I remember very well, a lot of people were saved who were not part of mysteries and revelations who had nothing to do with the mysteries and revelations people that were just passing by and they are not written in any evident record but they are being specified inside today's analysis of the lost files that were not recorded just as john has written that there are many which if they should be written then he says everyone i suppose that even the world itself could not contain then he talks about the books There are so many writings that are not even written about the works, the house visitations, the places that we reached doing the works of the Holy Spirit. There are also names that are not mentioned that were also there assisting the work of God and assisting the revelator for the work of God 
to be done that are not written and all those names they deserve that level of glory that is not more than the glory that should be stolen from the glory of Jesus Christ. I'm going to prove to you that a name that has done the works of Jesus Christ, and I mean any name that has done the work of God, deserves a little glory, but not glory that overcomes or glory that surpasses the glory of Jesus Christ. And John writes again saying, but these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, meaning that the leaky information that was then recorded, the leaky information, and which is the leaky information? the information that is inside the Holy Bible, as much as the Holy Bible has got all those contents that we read day in and out, every service, every chapter. I don't even know how many sermons or presentations that have been preached here on earth. But those are the ones that John is saying. These are the ones that have been written so that you may believe. But these are not all the works that Jesus did. For he did many works. Which the same John writes saying, if they had been written, the world itself could not contain the books because there would be too many. And those books are the records that were lost, which John is trying to specify, which other disciples do not talk about, which only John could specify that there are books that were lost, that were not written about, that were not mentioned about. But still, up until today, we still have people that would ask for a scripture reference if you start doing a thing. Yet John has told you that there are many other scriptures, there are many other works, there are many other miracles, there are many works that were covered by mysteries and revelations, there are many deliverance sessions that were done by the revelator that are not written that are not recorded. There are many people that were encountered. There are many people that were saved that are not mentioned. And those people that don't confess or mention the works. This is why I've put much effort and emphasis. This is why I've put more labor in publishing almost every work that I've done, but out of all the work that I've published from writings to deliverance sessions to every file that I've written, what is not written or what was not recorded remains as the bigger content. which cannot be contained. As John says, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that believing you might have life through his name. So, people of God, there are many works that cannot be left aside without being mentioned not only works but names and this is giving an account of the calling if one is not going to give an account of the calling then how is he going to give an account 
before the Lord Jesus Christ because the works of the Lord and the works of the man in terms of what he did while he's here on earth, in terms of what he did in terms of service, are the accounts that are going to be given on the last hour on judgment. In Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4, Apostle Paul says, For if ye that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not with behind the very chiefest apostles, but though I be root in speech, meaning that though I might even boast in speech, yet not in, in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. This is giving an account of the calling and giving an account of himself through the works that he had done. And he says, Have I committed an offense in abasing myself that you might be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely? I have preached the gospel of God freely for though there are those that want to judge when you start preaching the gospel saying he is doing it for money there are times that i've preached the gospel for free and i still do it even today preaching from morning to evening preaching to strangers preaching for nothing like i said john the baptist at one time mentioned that he was eating locusts and wild honey only and this is a scripture that specified it in a narrative writing he only ate locusts and wild honey meaning that he only lived for the gospel and apostle paul said i robbed other churches taking wages of them to do you service meaning that you receive your salary through other avenues of the churches or the people that you have not given the gospel more than those that have given you something in return And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man, meaning that he gave the gospel for free. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied. And in all things I kept myself from being burdensome unto you. And so will I keep myself, meaning that he sacrificed even himself so that he doesn't become a burden to anyone. When do he is comparing himself not with the other apostles or the other prophets that have entered the same calling so that they become rich. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works again. So there is nothing people of God that can be spoken or recorded without the works and there is nothing that can be used as a measurement without the works being spoken of and there is nothing that can be proven without one giving an account of the calling there are lost files about mysteries and revelations that remain not recorded but they have been specified in the calling of the revelator part seven and 
this is now the new profound records that I've given you, the spiritual journey documentary. Until next time, have a blessed day.